It's a brutal day in the markets today, wasn't it? Pretty sure we were all down at least somewhat, even if you had some sort of nice hedge. If you're a day trader, you're living it, but day traders, this is not the channel for you. We're, we're value investors here. So we ended Friday, biggest point gain ever. Huge gains off of a Trump speech. And today, we had a massive losing day off of a Trump speech. So what, what, let's talk about this a little bit. Friday, Trump comes out, talks about a bunch of economic stimulus, the ability to make sure that our economy will remain strong. Oil's not gonna go under. At least we don't think it's gonna go under. Some are, not the entire industry. Market rallies ends up up 10, 9, 10%. Today, Trump comes out, says, might be a recession. Dr. Anthony Fauci says, we're undershooting it. The, the numbers are always underpredicted. But there's some positives we have to think about. And we really have to be critical and put everything into context here. So one, let's drop the bomb. This coronavirus is not gonna go away, ever, ever. Just like the flu, isn't gonna go away, just like AIDS, probably not gonna go away, just like coronavirus, probably not gonna go away. It's just the way it is, it's a virus, it's gonna always be there. So with that in mind, with that in mind, what does it take for the coronavirus to not be a huge concern for the markets? Well, it takes certainty, it takes complacency, it takes control over the situation, which we didn't really have and we're starting to get control of now. So we're starting to get test kits out there into the hands of people who should be testing. We're starting to set up facilities at Walgreens, at Target, at CVS, at Walmart, in the parking lots. We're starting to see some countries get a thousand cases a day, like Spain over last night. So it's still a mixed bag, and that led to the massive sell-off today. But Trump says, and we've got a solid plan in place, and if the pieces come together, we might be on this path, that we're going to have it controlled in 15 days. Now, that doesn't mean that there's not going to be any new cases in 15 days. There's going to be new cases always. This is a virus out there in the modern jungle of the world, of the planet Earth. And it's gonna find people, it's gonna find people. That's what viruses do. They consume flesh and uh, that's how they survive. That's your, 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 your virus food, believe it or not. So yeah, this virus is gonna be around there forever. Looks like people are quarantining and listening to what President Trump has to say, which is stay inside. No gatherings now of more than 10 people suggested. So none of that. I went to a bar on Saturday. Probably wasn't wise, but I will not do that until President Trump tells me to. Tells me to celebrate. Like he said, soon we will be having national celebrations. And I think that's a fantastic thing. So New York City, apparently, you know, a city I'm from, seems to be, at least I've heard, dead. It's a rare thing for the city that never sleeps, allegedly. So it seems like people are staying inside, not going out. Restaurants and bars in the New York, New Jersey states are closing, except for pickup and delivery, which is a very good thing. You know, a lot of people eating at restaurants, silverware, tables, all of that, very susceptible to further spread. So two to 14 day incubation period. So if you get the illness, the coronavirus, two to 14 days, it can be inside your body before you start showing symptoms and end up reporting yourself and finding out you have the virus. So 15 days from today, that's under the assumption that what is happening right now, New York, Seattle, San Francisco, these cities that have been like, we're closing, stay in place. And the one assumption that led to a lot of selling off was that the United States would not deal with this like China dealt with this. How did China deal with this? They shut off the country. Sounds a whole lot like we're shutting off the country somehow, some way. Some cities are less active voluntarily, somewhat not voluntarily now with bars and restaurants. And uh, in 15 days, 
we may have the spread controlled. We may, in 15 days, start to see a decline in new daily cases. And once we start to see a decline in new daily cases, that, my friends, that is when market certainty will resume. When we start to see control and the American system getting the coronavirus under control, <laughs> We will, uh, we will be confident, you know, we'll be like, all right, this is a thing now. We're not spreading it as much. People are going to start going out again. President Trump will be like, you know, I mean, just, it is what it is. It is what it is. He's going to say something like that, you know, it's a virus. We just got to know the facts. He's a man of reason. He's not a man of fear. He's a man of reason. Reasonably, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, it's, it's a virus. It's out there. It's never going to go away. But as I've said, this is going to have a cap. A cap. Can't get worse. Can't get worse than a year. Because in a year, Moderna is leading right now. They're already in human trials for a vaccine. A vaccine. We're going to have this thing under control, my friends. What does that mean for the stock market? How's the recovery going to look? Well, there's two kinds of recoveries. You either have a V-shaped recovery or you have a U-shaped recovery. Now, 2007, 2008 financial crisis, that was a U-shaped recovery. That was a massive, lots of fraud, debt problems, long-term issues that led to a, a crisis. So one of the big monumental things in the 2007, 2008 crisis was the fall of Lehman Brothers, a very large investment firm. They fell, they collapsed, nobody saw it coming. But what happened before Lehman Brothers went under? Over the course of a year, the market fell 20%. What has the market done this time? It's fallen more than that in less than three weeks. It's a much sharper decline we're talking about here. It's a very quick, in and out, sudden, terrible burst of all economic activity, which leads me to believe we are in a V-shaped recovery of the coronavirus crisis instead of the U-shaped recovery of the 2007-2008 crisis. So my friends, for a V-shaped recovery, we gotta be buying when we're getting close to the bottom, which we're at right now with prices so good. So get out there, buy your favorite stocks, not in chunks, nibble on the way down. Peace.